Hi guys, welcome to my real food versus squishy food versus slime food challenge. Now before we start, please give this video a big thumbs up to help me thank my sister who has prepared these secret ingredients today and comment down below if you think today's video is going to be a slime DIY or a squishy DIY. Let's go. Right, so I'm gonna open the real food and I really hope it's something I like, something yummy, so let's go for it. Ooh, I don't know what it is yet. What is it? <gasps> Starbucks, yes! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> this is my favorite. Is this gonna be a slime or squishy we're going to be making today? Now, I think a slime, because it's kind of like liquidy, but I guess you could make it into a squishy, but let's have a look. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Comment down below. And it is a slime. I can't wait. Yes. Now, there's everything in the box which I need to make my Frappuccino slime, so let's have a look. Now, I can see at the back here we have a cup, which is so cool, which we're going to put our slime in. We also have, like, the shaving foam, which I guess you could use as, like, the whipped cream as well, which is going to look awesome. And then there's these three glitters, so there's, like, a white one, and there's, like, a gold one, and kind of, like, a bronzy, kind of coppery colour, which is going to be awesome, and I can put them on the top. And then we've got, like, our basic stuff, our contact lens solution, our glue our bicarbonate of soda and the paints. Mm. Now, if you know me, you know that I don't really measure out my slime ingredients, so I'm just gonna go with it and put quite a lot of glue in the bowl here. Here we go. Ugh, gooey. And I wanna make it quite fluffy, so I don't wanna put too much glue in, so I think that'll be enough. Maybe that's a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Ooh. Put the lid back on. Now we're gonna go for the shaving foam to make it nice and fluffy. So let's shake this up. Oh, let's go for this. Wow. That is a lot, but I'm sure that is going to be fine. So let's get mixing a little bit. Wow. Very fluffy. Whoa. Maybe I made a little too much, but it doesn't matter. You can't have too much slime. Mm. Now, I want to kind of make like a similar sort of colour, and I'm not really sure if that's possible, but let's just go for it. So I'm gonna put my paint in, go for red first. Now, I won't put too much in, just in case I do go wrong. Eh, that'll be enough. Oops, maybe a bit too much, doesn't matter. Now for blue. <gasps> it's like seeping in, <laughs> that's so cool. Blue and yellow. Let's get mixing. Oh, it's like swirly. If I was making rainbow slime, this would be perfect. Hmm, what do you think? Is it gonna make a brown? It's looking a bit pink to me at the moment, but let's just keep mixing. Oh, I see some orange. Now, I don't wanna go overboard, so let's just start with a few drops. There we go. So here's how it's looking at the moment, and I think I put too much red in to start with, so I'm just going to continue to put some blue and yellow in and hopefully get a brown colour. No, I'll be fine. So I've finished mixing, and I've kind of got like a brownie colour. I mean, it's not exact, but I guess it's kind of like similar to the Frappuccino, so I think this is going to be fine. And now it's all mixed and it's got the paint in, it's time to add the contact lens solution. So here is my activator, let's get it in. Now I don't want to add too many drops because sometimes it can kind of like ruin your slime. So I'll put like one, two, three. Oh, I did kind of fall, it doesn't matter. Let's get mixing. I'm so excited to make this slime, it's gonna be awesome. Gloopy. Now I think I'm gonna add some baking soda. So let's just get a little bit in my hand. Oh, 
Let's just go for it. Put it all in. Now this is still quite sticky as you can see and it still kind of leaves a little bit on my hands but I'm not sure if I should just put a little tiny bit more contour lens solution in. I think I might. So I'll just put like a few drops. That'll do. I think this is more or less done now. Let's just get my hands in it. Maybe it's a bit sticky but whoa this is cool. It's so soft. It's so fluffy and stretchy oh my gosh look how cool it is and like color wise i mean i've nearly drunk all of this i feel like it's like it couldn't be better because i'm not good at mixing stuff so i feel like it's all right it's pretty good and it's so fun to play with like i haven't made fluffy slime for ages and this is just so fluffy and stretchy and it's kind of like the right consistency because it's like not too sticky, not too gloopy, it's just right. Whoa, now I'm not quite sure if I should like add the glitter now or kind of like layer the glitter up in the like the cup or maybe put it on top of like the shaving foam which is going to be the whipped cream but right now all I want to do is just play with this because it's so cool and it actually does kind of like remind me of a liquid which is even better because obviously frappuccinos are liquid and this is just like the perfect slime for it I feel like it's just it's got the right amount of everything Now for my frappuccino, I'm kind of thinking of doing like a layer of slime, then glitter, slime, glitter, slime, glitter, slime, maybe not that much, but you get the picture. And then I'm going to put like the shaving foam on top as the whipped cream. I cannot wait. Whoa. I love slime. I think that's enough. That looks good. Let me just get this nice and flat, get it settled. I'm just going to add this white glitter first and I'm not sure how this is going to look but I'm sure it'll look fine. Let's just sprinkle some of this on. <gasps> awesome! How does that look? Now this has to go on perfectly so let's try and get it swirled around. Now I'm going to do this like coppery colour, let's get this sprinkled on, <gasps> oops, <laughs> oh gosh maybe a bit too much but hey ho. I'm just so tempted to like squish this now but obviously I can't do that until it's made so let's just keep on layering on our slime. And now for the final ingredient, the cream. Obviously it's just shaving foam. And don't judge my shaving foam applying skills because I know I'm not the best, but let's just go for this. So excited. Oh. <gasps> Gone a bit high on the cream here, but let's get the dome because it needs to look like a proper frappuccino. <laughs> it's kind of like coming out the top. There we go, so cool. And finally, for our straw. Oh, perfect. So here it is, my Starbucks Frappuccino. And I know it doesn't really look exactly identical, but given the ingredients, I think it looks pretty cool and almost eatable, but don't eat it. Now guys, if you have any ideas of what I can make next for my real food versus squishy or slime food challenge, comment down below because this was so fun to make. Okay, the moment you have been waiting for. Time to squish it all together. So first of all, I'm gonna pull out the straw. Whoa, it's just covered in shaving foam. And there's some slime at the bottom there. Awesome. Nope. <laughs> now to take off the lid. Ew, it feels so weird. Oh, it's all like coming out. Let's pull it up. Ah, the 
This is so cool. All of like the glitter is mixing. I've got shame foam all over my hand. <laughs> How cool is that though? Oh, it's all like exploding. Ah! Just look at all the glitter. real food versus squishy or slime food challenge I hope you enjoyed I think I did pretty well today and before I go here is a quick word from one of my awesome subscribers hi my name is Franny from the channel Franny Violet and I won the NBC self shout out so if you to get my channel out the link will be in the description down below and give this video a like bye so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed remember to come back for more videos soon and I'll see you all later bye oops